Hey everyone, it is Kim. It is August 1st, and I'm going to attempt Flogist. Um, whether or not I can do every single day, we'll just see what happens. I do have lots of fun things I want to do this month. And let's just get started in that. I just filmed my... I'm sorry if you hear my niece's dog. She's walking again. I just filmed the July giveaway winners, and I just filmed the August giveaway. So make sure you check out those videos, and congratulations to the winners. Precious, please go. <laughs> sorry, she's right behind clanging her nails on the floor. Her nails are trimmed, I promise. They're just, for some reason, she's still loud. Um, so I did a thing. Um, I was... I have my big show in November that I came pretty close to selling out last year and I could have sold four times, five times more had I had the product. Um, so I have that show, which I should be hearing back from this in the next day or two to find out if I got the bigger booth that I wanted. But I also had signed up for two other shows that were pretty decent in size. So then what do you do when you've been up all night sick? You sign up for the biggest craft show around that is the biggest gathering of people in the entire state. So, this craft show is in a small little town, and there's not even a hotel in this town. The hotels are 15 minutes away. Um, it is 850 vendors, plus a bunch of exhibition things and all that. It spans six square blocks and is also indoors and outdoors. It is attended by over 120,000 people. Obviously, not everybody's going to come to every side of the booth, but still, even if just 5% of that does, it's twice as big as my biggest show. So, and one thing that I noticed is because you have to pay for parking. So people shut off their parking lots and they charge, you know, $10 plus per car. So people come there ready to buy things. Um, it's not a place where they hand out free stuff everywhere. It's none of that. It's an actual show and people come from multiple states over. So I'm very excited to do it. But it's a month before my big show. It's in October. And so now, I've got a lot I need to get done. And I've not had a good last few weeks. So, that's why I'm here. I want to try for Vlogist. For the month of August, I would like to get between 90 and 100 Amigumi done. I've got over 50 works in progress right now. And I would like to get a lot of those done because they're big, you know, good quality stuff animals. I'd like to get some more miniature things done. I have some minis done, but I will show them tomorrow because I don't have the books out for them. Um, and then what I would like to do is focus on one of my favorite designers, and that is Left-Handed Crocheter. She is a great designer. I will link her rivalry, her Instagram, her, and she also has a YouTube channel down below. She releases a new ebook every single month and she does a lot of giveaways, a lot of sales. Wonderful designer. She has some free patterns as well. And so, to put it in perspective here, I printed out all my patterns, as you know I do. These are one and a half inch binders. Oops. Yarn tail, don't we all have a hundred of those everywhere? And these are just part of her patterns that I own. Um, there's a lot I want to do. She's got farm animals, zoo animals. Um, the one I'm working on right now is celestial. You know, um, hold on a sec. I am back. I had to try to get my niece's dog because that clicking was going to drive me insane. I'm sure it's not much better on the camera. Um, but she's got, you know, the forest friends and pets and just lots and lots of characters. So, what I want to do is do a different one of her patterns every single day. For some, I'm only going to do one of. 
others I would like to do, um, you know, two or three of, depending on the size and the time. So I would like to try to get three or four items done a day between her patterns, my works in progress, and other items that I'm working on. So the pattern of hers for today that I'm working on is Neptune the Ogre. You can buy this pattern by itself. All of her patterns you can buy by it yourself, or you can buy it as an ebook. And this is the in the Celestial Dreams ebook. It's got a, a nebula, oh no, a Pegasus. Sorry, nebula, Pegasus. It's got a fairy. Um, it's got a phoenix, a griffin, and a dragon. So this is the ogre, and I've been up working on this this morning. Here is its head. I actually had to order bigger safety eyes because almost all of her patterns she uses really big eyes, even for the size thing. Um, so these are actually 20 mil safety eyes, and I just love how much character it gives him. Um, this is Tea Leaf by Red Heart Super Saver. Now I'm working on his body, and so I have both of the legs done, and now I'm getting ready to go up and do the body. This is again in tea leaf, and this is in medium time, both by Red Heart Super Saver. So he's going to be a pretty big size. She's got various sizes of patterns, that's why I like this one will be the only one that I can get made at a time because it is bigger, um, but she does have a lot of smaller ones too. So this is how far I am on this one. So hopefully tomorrow I'll show you a finished ochre and then also what I'm working on for tomorrow. Which I don't know what that's going to be yet. Depends on my mood. Also today, I have two other things that I would like to finish if I can find their patterns without throwing everything on the ground. I cannot, so I'll just show you. Um, I am working on, sorry for any shaking. I need to clean up my corner over. There's a recliner next to me that's just full of stuff. I'm working on a Timothy T-Rex. Ooh, that's bright. Um, this is out of a new Red Heart Super Saver cup. Or not Red Heart, sorry. Um, Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn color. It is so pretty. Um, I have all the pieces done for him. I just need to assemble them. I need to sew up his bottom, put his limbs on. So I have a Timothy the T-Rex, so hopefully he will also get finished today. He's a little darker than he's showing up in the camera, but he's still very pretty. Then the other one I'm working on, it is from the book um, Crochet Dinosaurs. You can find it on Amazon. I'll link it down below. But the... Um, publishing company actually released this pattern you can find it on Pinterest and it links back to their website and I'll have that down below um, so I just used that one and it is for it's going to be a triceratops this is a lot darker than it's showing up in the screen but this is Hobby Lobby I love this yarn in orange and red so he just needs it's done similar to the Bronto, so I just need to sew up the center, put its so crochet its legs, crochet into the holes and its tail. So, and I've already got its horns made too. So this is gonna be a triceratops. So hopefully with any luck today I will finish all three of these and have, you know, three really good size amigurumis for the day. Yesterday, so we know I do, you know, cups and things in epoxy, so I was playing with some of those yesterday, and I had these little 3D molds now, and so I have this little unicorn, and I'm still having problems with bumps on them, so ones that don't come out perfect are going to be, um, I'm probably just going to put them on my shelf, um, because it's got, um, holes down at the bottom. But I think it turned out cute. This is glitter inside of epoxy. I actually have 
sorry for that noise now. Backstretch chewing on a water bottle. Um, I actually have a smaller one of these coming that I can turn into a key ring, but these are far too heavy to be a key ring, so it will be just, you know, a little figure to sit on. So I have the unicorn. One second. All right, sorry about that. I'm trying to get this filmed so I can get other stuff done. I'm going to my friend's house in a little bit, and so I've got a few things I need to get done. And the dogs just want to be annoying today and be loud. But Baxter's done. He's now sitting in my lap. So what I was talking about, this is glitter suspended inside of epoxy. Um, so I'm going to do the smaller one and turn it into keychains, but these will make cute little figures. And they're a good use for like um, leftover epoxy when I'm making cups. Also last night, let me get to it. I decided to try some other molds that I have. And I've made some coasters. This is again epoxy, so it's pretty much you'd have to throw it quite hard to break it. And it um is food safe and all that. So I made I had put the red, white, and blue glitter there, stars and um circles and all some of it went to the back. You see the glitter a little better back there. And then I dropped mica powders down into it. So I made a couple of these. I think I'm going to make more of these for my shows. Just because it's a um, quick and easy thing to do. But I'm going to do them in different colors and designs. So I made two coasters last night. So again, I don't have much to show you today. Hopefully throughout the month I'll have a lot more. Um... But definitely stick around and see what I make this month. Can I make it to 90 or 100 stuffed animals? We'll see. Hopefully by the end of the day, I'll be, a, you know, 3% there with the first three done. Well, I will see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful, what day of the week is it? Thursday. Bye.